Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the quality factors proposed by MC Carls. Okay, so he discussed about the three different major topics, guys. That is nothing but product operations, product translator, and product revision. Okay, so we'll be going in the reverse reverse order, guys. That is nothing but in the product operations, we are having correctness, reliability, usability, integrity, and efficiency. Whereas in product translation, we are having portability, reusability, and sorry interpretability and here we are having in product review we are having testability flexibility and maintainability guys we will be discussing about those all the components guys we will be discussing about one or two points so that will be clear for you and you can write it in your examination okay so first let us go through correctness so when you will be saying that a project is correct or everything guys anything so you will be saying that when your customers requirements are fulfilled right so the ability of given software should satisfy its purpose of developing that is nothing but it should satisfy the customer's needs or the client okay similarly reliability so software should be much more reliable so whenever there is any failure occurs the software should not go down or if it even goes down it should be refactored or it should be re redesigned or it should be resolved the correct word is resolved so it should be resolved as fast as possible okay similarly usability the effort required to learn operate and prepare input for the inter for the particular output guys okay so you need to use them everything so inti sorry integrity integrity is nothing but the factor dealing with the software security that is to be prevent access to unauthorized person so you need to have some integrity those are nothing but you can say constraints and everything so that there will be no technical issues for you in the further okay so the next type is nothing but efficiency so the amount of computation resources and code required to run the program is nothing but efficiency so if you require less resources and less code it is more efficient guys okay portability portability you can say simply that the efforts required to transfer the program from one hardware to another hardware or another software is nothing but portability we'll be saying that few languages are portable like python and java python java right so these are the two popular ones which i know okay okay so basically if i write the code in my laptop or in my system of a windows you can copy that code and you can run on your macintosh or linux or anywhere guys so that is nothing but the portability okay reusability so whenever there is a chance when you are developing something if there is a chance for you to reuse something please make sure that you are reusing it guys because it will save your time okay so the extent to which a program that is nothing but a part of program can be reused in other applications yes okay intro interoperability that is nothing but each and every component should have some basic coupling with each and every module guys so it might be a loose coupling or it might be a strong coupling loose coupling means there is just a relation each individual module can run on themselves but it will be good if there is a relation okay similarly strong relation is nothing but those both should be a single module to run okay okay maintainability the efforts required to locate and fix the error is nothing but maintainability so we'll be maintaining the software and everything right yes similarly flexibility flexibility the efforts required to modify the modify an operating system easily is nothing but flexible so if an operating system you can do modifications easily so you can say that the operating system is flexible in that way okay testability the effort required to test a program to ensure that the performance is intended functions so basically you will be checking that using this concepts okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea about the quality factors so in the next lecture we will be going through some basic introduction about 9126 software quality factors guys okay so let us meet in the next lecture Thank you. Thanks for watching.